Hey everyone, so today we actually have here, this is the MacBook 13 inch A1708. This is a 2017 model. Now what you're seeing here is a pretty common error that you usually see that comes with the hard drive maybe being messed up, something's kind of wrong with it. Um, it's not showing any operating system, so right when we turn on the machine we get this folder icon. So I do want to check out to kind of see what's going on with this one. It was working for the client, but it now it's just it just doesn't work. Once once you turn it on, there's no updates or anything. It just one day all of a sudden just kind of did this. So we want to kind of see really what the problem is. So I'm going to actually boot to a bootable, and I'm going to go into disk utility and see kind of what's going on there. So I have my dongle life, you know. So we have to go like this. So I have this is a bootable a Mac OS installer that I have that I have a local one instead of getting it through the internet. You can do it through the internet too. So you want to hold power and then you want to go to the option. Just hold the option down the whole time and usually that can get you to choosing what type of disk. So you can see it says install Mac OS Catalina. So I want to go to that because that's going to get me to a disk utility. So in disk utility, you can reformat the hard drive. You can see other partitions. You can do a lot of stuff just to check out the hard drive without booting to the operating system. If you wanted to go through the recovery, you can actually hold Command R and you go through the recovery steps. It will take a little bit more time because you would have to load the recovery from the internet. So there's always a few options, and this option because we really want to see what's going on. Why can't we? Why isn't the hard drive working? We want to see if it's detected first. If it's not detected, then we can kind of go from there. So we go to disk utility. We can see here's the USB, and we actually do see the hard drive here. It does look like it's totally grayed out. And if you want to go a little step further, we can really see the hard drive. We can hit show all devices and view. And you can see it shows Mac. And you can see it says Apple SSD. So this is the one that's built into your machine. You can see it's the PCI one. So I'm thinking, OK, it looks like maybe it says it's not mounted. So you can try hitting mount and see if that does anything. Most of the time it doesn't mount because it's something's not bootable, something just isn't right. Maybe the operating system went bad or something something happened. So I get this error. It says could not mount Macintosh HD.com Apple Disk Manager Disk Error 49153. I try looking up this error. It's usually a mounting error, there's something wrong, and then of course you go to any Apple forms or anything, they just say bring it in. Usually if the Mac partition can't mount, but you can see the hard drive, that means I can probably just maybe erase it, or you can go first aid and see if that's going to do anything. So let's go to first aid, and let's see if we can go hit that first and see if it does anything. So I'm going to run first aid, and it says first aid process has failed. You can see how quickly it just did. It did it all of a sudden. It says if possible, if possible, back up the data on this volume and click done. So if I click details, it clicks and it says problems were found with the partition map which might prevent booting. So I'm thinking, okay, it says something's found with the partition map. Prevent booting probably means something's wrong with the operating system. Probably. Because that's just a partition. It could mean a hard drive is bad, but we can kind of see from there. I'm going to actually go to the actual Apple SSD up here. And I'm going to click erase. So for this client, we were actually able to use recovery tools on this Mac SSD and able to get the data off. So we were able to recover data. So we were able to recover the client's data. However, we aren't able to write. It seems to be a read only type of thing. So we were able to copy from her hard drive here to another hard drive and back that up. But for some reason, we're not able to install an operating system and we're not able to put anything on the hard drive. The machine sees it, but you aren't able to write or anything to it. So I try going through command prompt to try to change change the permissions for the read and write. That didn't work. Um, it doesn't seem to want to be able to be touched by anything. I keep getting the same error over and over again. How it won't mount, I can't first aid it. It won't let me touch it at all, even just to look at it. It won't let me do anything. However, the recovery tools I did use did work and I was able to pull the data, which is very strange. So let's try to do it now. Let's go to erase and see if that works. So we're just going to go Mac OS extended. That's fine. You can do APFS. It shouldn't make a difference in this case because the, the standard is already Mac OS extended. It's, that's how it came. So we're just going to do exactly how it came. So I'm going to hit erase. So it's doing it now. It says I'm mounting. It says create partition map and it says could not open device. 
error 69877, operation failed. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot I can do for, from a software perspective to, to get this to write. It looks like it has to be some type of firmware, some type of hardware, something that is preventing me to write to this disk at all, like in any way. For the 2017 models, usually the hard drive is soldered to the motherboard. Um, Apple actually quoted the client that she needed a new motherboard and it was going to be very, very expensive to repair. So we're taking a look at it because we were able to get the data off. So we had a little bit more confidence to see if we could do anything for it. So I, I played with this for a long time and to see what I could do. I ran it through a command prompt. I ran it through the disk utility, all that stuff. Even when you have, even when you boot it from a bootable, I actually had a Mac OS on a bootable USB. I tried doing the same thing for disk utility. It gave me the same errors over again. So that's not going to help as well. Fortunately for this lady, for the A1708, for the 13 inch and not the 15 inch, only the 13 inch is the hard drive removable in this case. I'm blown away too. I can't believe it. Her model actually has a removable hard drive. So we're going to show you how to remove it and replace it and hopefully that's going to fix it. This model specifically, the 13 inch A1708 does have a removable hard drive. So let's just take it off. Let's flip it over. So once you remove the back, you're greeted by this. This is actually user replaceable. This is the hard drive that's going on the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, of course, take out the battery connection. All right. Now there are two screws that actually hold this, this model in. And it's easy. Just take it out and pop it. That is one. And there's two. And this just, you slide it up, you pinch two fingers, just push it up, and it comes up just like this. All right. This, this is your hard drive. Most of the time, and most of these models, the 2016s, the 2018s, they all have it part of the board, but this actually comes out. This is user replaceable. Pretty amazing if you've asked me. So I'm going to put that to the side. And we do have an exact uh, replacement one. And we're going to go plug that in. So we do boot it on. And we immediately do notice that we do see the hard drive here this time. That's the new one. So it does actually recognize that. That means there is a operating system built into it so let's just access it so let's see so we were able to boot right away it didn't give me any problem and that's just from this guy right here so if you're fortunate enough to have an a1708 2017 13 inch macbook pro you do have a removable solid state drive hard drive again it is very unique to mac so you have to get the exact OEM replacement, but if you're having problems with that, with any type of hard drive, if you can't mount it, if you can't see anything, you can't write to it, um, you do have hope though, because you, we were able to recover the data on that hard drive, even though it wasn't writable and it wasn't booting. Um, try to take it to a place that can recover that and does have recoverable tools. We do a lot. If you check the video description down below, we actually do a lot of data recoveries and we were able to recover this one very fortunately. Um, it is very difficult usually for, especially these newer Macs, because most of them are tied to the board. Most of the hard drives are tied to the board, but in this case, we are very, very fortunate that we were able to replace this one and make it working without totally replacing the whole board or replacing the computer as, as a whole. Now, even with these, I was worried about that we could maybe get kernel panics because it doesn't recognize the same type of hard drive or there could be something wrong with the board. That always is a possibility because it might not just be the hard drive. There could be something else on the board that's controlling that. There could be some sort of firmware or there could be another problem on the board. There could be a spill somewhere. It's really hard to say, but we are very fortunate that this method actually worked for us. 
So if you do have this type of problem, you do actually have some hope if you, if you have the A1708 13-inch edition of the 2017 model. Um, I'm not quite sure on the other models that they work like this, but if you do see this little guy in here, then you do have some hope and you can remove it and maybe you can even add storage. I don't know how high it does go. Um, I would recommend getting the same storage you had before because I'm not too sure how the controller works or anything, if it gets very sensitive or if they change anything else up on it. But you can see it booted no problem, it restarted totally fine, it took a Sun operating system that was already installed. If you don't, you can go to Disk Utility again and wipe it. But anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video about the A1708 13 inch MacBook Pro. So we were able to recover the data, but we weren't able to install an operating system on here. It does look like the hard drive went bad, but that's okay. We were able to replace it, and that's a very good thing, especially for these new models, and especially they're very nice, very expensive models. This one actually doesn't have a touch bar either, as you can see, so it does work for on those type of models. On touch bar models or any other model, I'm not too sure if it does have a removable one. I would say probably not, though. Most of them don't on these models. But we were very lucky, the client's very lucky, and everyone's pretty happy. So, um, again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video very useful, please leave a comment below. Have you guys ever seen this error? Have you ever had problems just using the operating system? Have you ever had problems just mounting it and it wasn't booting to the operating system? Sometimes it can't just be like an error on the operating system by itself. The worst case scenario would be a hardware issue, which would usually be a board, but we got the a very good beneficial one that it's only just the hard drive. So anyways, guys, if, uh, please subscribe for more content. We are going to be delivering a lot more very soon. And we'll try to do more repairs, try to do more talking points, just kind of some cool stuff that ever comes in. Um, if you have any other Mac repairs or anything, if you have any questions, we have all of our contact information on the link in the description below. So anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Okay, guys, so right after making this video, I was actually informed that there actually is a recall on this specific model. It looks like it's a 13-inch MacBook Pro non-touch bar solid-state drive service program. You can check it out at support.apple.com. It's a 13-inch MacBook Pro solid-state drive service. And you can check your eligibility if you are part of the recall. You can check in the serial number here. It does say um, units that were sold between June 2017 and June 2018, and that have the 128 and 256 gigabyte solid-state drive models. Now, we did check the el eligibility for our client. She told us, actually, they denied her eligibility for this service in particular. Uh, we don't know why. We don't know if she was excluded, if she didn't buy it between them, but she does have the 2017 13-inch, and she does have a 256. I don't know why they denied her. I'm not sure, but so go check out and see if you're eligible, too.